Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about my Jo Malone fragrance collection. I do have eight fragrances from Jo Malone and I'm going to go through all of them. I'm gonna try to do it relatively quickly because I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. <laughs> So I'm gonna to try to go through them relatively quickly. I will put the notes on the screen. However, when I describe these to you, I'm gonna describe them how I think they smell, but the notes will be there on the screen from what Joe Malone says they smell like, if that makes sense. <laughs> Additionally, I will be going through these in order from my favorite to my least favorite. Now I do have to say that I do like most of these. Um, so there's only one that I kind of regret, and I'll tell you that one, obviously it's gonna be the last one. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go from my most favorite to my least favorite, uh, but just know that none of these are like hated it, you know? So keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and get started. The first fragrance that I have here is Blue Agava and Cacao. And this one was actually my very first one that I purchased, and it's also my very, very favorite. Um, Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued, but I still wanted to mention it because like I said, it is my favorite. This is the large bottle and you can see I've used up a, about half of it. Uh, so for me, that's a lot because I have quite <laughs> a large fragrance collection. But to me, this one is perfect. It can be worn year round, but I tend to pull this one out more in the spring and summer uh, just because it is a sort of lighter scent and it just, it gives me those type spring summer vibes I don't know <laughs> but in my opinion it smells sort of sweet um, maybe a little bit floral but also like a little bit different I this one to me is probably the hardest to describe but when I when I smell it I think about vacation fun in the sun <laughs> This is not starting out too well with this description, but this one is one of those ones that's really hard to describe because it's so different than anything else I own. If I had to compare it to something, I would say it's probably most similar to Gucci Memoir. It kind of reminds me of Gucci Memoir, which is a new Gucci fragrance that I mentioned a couple of videos ago. So I really love this one. Um, like I said, if I was to pick just one of these, this one would be my top favorite. Um, yeah, I'm so happy I got this. I've had this one for probably about three years now. I remember getting it for my birthday. I went to the Joe Malone counter at Nordstrom and that was my first time visiting a Joe Malone counter and I knew I was gonna pick something up for my birthday if I found something that I loved and I did. So I'm so happy that I decided to go with this one. So the second fragrance that I have to share is this one and this Ginger Biscuit. Now this one is also, I guess, limited edition. However, they bring it back pretty much every year, I think for the past three years. So if you wanna get it, you'll definitely be able to get it. They usually bring it out around like, between like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I, I believe last year I got, or I think I've had it for two years now. Yeah, I think this season will be two years. But when I got it, it was during like Black Friday. So if you're interested in this, you will probably be able to get it later this year. But this one smells like gingerbread cookies. It smells so good. And you would not believe, when I wear this, I get so many compliments. Well, sometimes people don't know it's me. They're just like, ooh, it smells like cookies in here. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but this definitely just smells like gingerbread cookies. It's very sweet. Um, and it's spicy without being too strong. Um, this is definitely one that people will smell on me, but it's not like, whoa, you just spray air freshener in here. It's like, if I walk by them, I'm like, ooh, they'll say like, ooh, I smell cookies and I know they're talking about me, you know? So definitely love this one. This one will almost be number one, except this one's just so good, the blue agave cacao. <laughs> but these are like right up there with each other. These are definitely my two favorites. The next one that I have is Mimosa and Cardamom, and this one is in a small bottle. And based on how much I love it, I probably should have gotten in a large one. Um, you can see I only have that much left there. Um, but I refuse to repurchase it <laughs> until I run out because I have too many fragrances. So it's like, don't I'm not gonna do that. So I love this one. It smells, to, to me, this one is better suited for probably about summer, spring, summer to me again. It smells 
like citrusy but also floral but it has like a little bit of heaviness to it as well um it's it's very unique i also purchased this one for my mom and she loves it and it to me this when i wear this it makes me just feel awake and happy um it's a very happy scent for me so <laughs> i definitely would recommend this i've seen a lot of people talk about this it was probably well liked uh, so yeah if you're blind buying this one will probably be a safe bet because like i said i've seen so many people talk about how much they love this one the next one i have is relatively new to my collection um this is orange blossom and this is in limited edition packaging but this fragrance is part of their permanent line but you can see I haven't used that much of it um, and I've only had this for probably about three months uh, but I love this this one is definitely spring summer to me and daytime appropriate but it smells like oranges floral oranges exactly like the name orange blossom <laughs> floral oranges it smells so clean and sweet and just so like refreshing um, one th I didn't mention this before, but one reason that I really like Jo Malone perfumes is because of their simplicity. Like they are very different scents to me. They, they smell very unique. Well, the ones that I have smell very unique in my opinion, but they're also very simple. And I like that because it, to me, it's just, they are just very like classy scents. These are the scents that I go to, you know, when I'm feeling like a classy lady, you know, these, most of these scents are not like go out feel like super fine Aisha this is like everyday classy elegant Aisha if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah so this one um definitely fits into that description um it just smells so sweet and clean that I love it when I say clean I don't mean like fresh well I guess it does smell a little bit fresh no it doesn't smell fresh it smells like floral and oranges very nice though I, I probably will be putting this one away soon because this one is definitely like spring summer i don't know that i want to smell so like citrusy or floral or so floral in um winter um fall winter even though right now it's fall i'm still wearing this because it's still really hot here but once it starts to cool off some i probably will put this one away until next year the next one that I have is also a recent addition, and this is Red Roses by Jo Malone. I also picked this one up in a small bottle. I've only had, this is actually the newest one to my collection, so I've only had it for like a month or so. Uh, but this one smells like fresh cut roses, like nothing else. It doesn't have anything else. I mean, I know it has other things in it, but to me, that's all I smell. It's like fresh cut real roses, not synthetic roses. And this one actually, um, I feel like this is one of the longer lasting Jo Malone colognes that I have here. Um, a lot of the Jo Malones don't last super long on me, but I'm okay with it because they smell so good. <laughs> but know that if you're looking at Jo Malone, I've heard a lot of people complain that they don't last on them. However, Red Roses does last on me. And I actually have to be careful with this. One day I put it on because I put it on before I went to a Pilates class and it was a little bit too strong because, you know, I was working out. And so obviously the sweating um and the warmth just kind of makes the fragrance almost like stronger or gives it more sillage if that's what you want to like more projection <laughs> um and i felt like it was a little bit too strong for that which never happens with john malone fragrances to me so this is one of the ones that you can definitely smell other people will smell it on you i do get a lot of compliments when i wear this but like i said if you don't like rose you definitely won't like this um, but don't completely count it out until you smell it because if you're used to like some other rose fragrances this is different because it smells like fresh cut like from 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 the florist or from the garden roses it smells really good to me next up is this one and this is mirror and tonka and this is one of the cologne intents the cologne intense versions are in the black bottle so if you ever see a black bottle they're going to be generally stronger than the regular bottles um but this is mirin taka like i said i've had this for a little while it smells like sweet and spicy and I, it's something that i really like so even though it's kind of low on my list i still really do like it the, i think the reason that it's so low is because it reminds me of some of my other nighttime fragrances that I generally go to over this. 
if that makes sense. Not Joe Malone fragrances, but just my other fragrances in general. Um, but like I said, this is a great nighttime fragrance. It's also a great mixer. Um, it's not super heavy, but it does kind of smell like vanilla and spicy. And it's probably could be used for a man as well. I don't know. Oh, it's the myrrh that I'm smelling. Um, yeah, it smells really good. Um, <laughs> not a good description but if you like like spicy oriental scents you will probably like this one i do like to mix this one with some other fragrances as well because it kind of helps to deepen them um i typically only mix it with other joe malone fragrances just because i don't know that's what i do and the joe malone ones mix so well together so um sometimes i will mix this with ginger biscuit if i want to wear ginger biscuit in the evening um, I've also mixed it with another one that I haven't talked about yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this one. I just don't wear it as much because to me it's not as unique as some of my other Jo Malone fragrances. Next up is another cologne intense and this is Velvet Rose and Oud. And I feel so bad that this is almost like the last one because I really do like this. But something about it. It's really strong so when i wear this i can only spray like two of them two sprays like total uh or it becomes a little bit too overpowering for me so i guess that's why it's so low on the list but it does smell good like it you can definitely smell some floral in it and it smell you can definitely smell the oud in it um and it's kind of like sharp a sharp scent so i do definitely don't wear this one during the day i only wear it at night and i do like to combine it um either with the blue agava and cacao uh, which was the first one. I actually bought these together. Yeah, so what? Oh. Yeah, so on my birthday that year, I bought these. This, these two and the last one I'm going to show you that I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> um, because the lady at the Joe Malone counter combined all of these for me. And I love the way they smelled all together or separately. And I still do really love the scent of this. I just... Like I said, it can be a bit overpowering if you overdo it with your sprays. So uh, this one I have to be careful with. And the very last one is one that I picked up at the same time as those two that I just showed you. But this is English Pear and Freesia. And this one to me smells the most generic out of all the scents that I have. And that's why it's on the bottom. It's not that I hate it. It's just that I don't love it. And I probably would have gotten rid of it by now. Um, but I just spent too much money on it to throw it away. <laughs> honestly i mean i guess i could sell it but i don't know it smells like pear definitely has some floral in it it's kind of a sharper scent though like when i smell it it like it kind of just strikes the nose i don't know what that is in there but i don't know it's just not my favorite unfortunately um because i have the big bottle like what was I thinking? Um, but it does smell good mixed with some other scents, but I don't really wear this one alone. So that's why it is on the bottom of my list. Again, it's not bad. It's very popular from Jo Malone. Like literally every time I go to the counter, they're asking me about English pear and Frisian. I'm just like, but why though? Like to me, this smells the most similar to other basic perfumes. Like I, I don't want to call them basic. I don't, when I say basic, I don't mean basic in a bad way. I mean basic as in like just a lot of fragrances have the same smell to me so not bad but not awesome either so that is my joe joe malone fragrance collection uh let me know what you guys think of this video hopefully i wasn't too rambly it's sometimes hard to explain perfumes <laughs> on a video because obviously you guys cannot smell it uh, but i really love joe malone for the uniqueness of them um, even though they're not long lasting in general on me, um, I still think they're worth it because of the uniqueness. Um, I definitely would recommend buying smaller bottles um, if you're just trying out Joe Malone because then you can take it with you in your purse and you're not spending as much money. Although the bigger bottles are definitely a better deal, um, the smaller bottles are way less expensive um, than the bigger bottles. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys own any Jo Malone fragrances or if you're interested in it, in any, or if you have any questions on the ones that I talked about, leave it in the comments below. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed to my blog, I'm going to be back posting on there. And 
I hope to get this video up today, the day that I'm filming, because tomorrow I will be posting my first uh, Fragrance Friday. So on my blog, I'm going to be talking about a fragrance not every week, but it's gonna be a continuing series um, that I post on Friday. So if you're interested in, you know, talking about fragrance with me, maybe my, definitely check out my blog because like I said, that's gonna be a continuing series for me. And sometimes it's a little easier for me to type it out than to just try to come off the dome uh, to try to describe a fragrance, honestly. <laughs> So yeah, if you're interested, definitely check out my blog below. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.